Okay, so it is time to intubate Miss Rye. We have given her her pre-medication. Um, I am going to measure her endotracheal tube. So one quick way to see what kind of size I use is I take the end of the endotracheal tube and I put it up against her nose. And as long as it goes border to border, you should be about right. The other thing I wanna do is measure from her inlet to the tip of her nose so I know how far back I'm putting her tracheal tube. So, and I'm gonna move my gauze to that spot so I know that that's where I need to stop. I am now gonna give her her propofol. How much do you give? I give her just enough to where she has no jaw tone. So we give a little bit and then we wait. You'll notice I am holding behind her elbow. That's so she can't pull her arm back. And then I'm kind of just letting her do what she wants with her head, but still supporting it. And then I can actually feel her head getting a lot heavier. Still fighting it a little bit though. And then what I'm doing here, I'm just actually checking her jaw tone. And actually, I think we are gonna be good. So super important when we're holding for intubation, I'm gonna hold the top jaw here with my hands right behind her canine. And then I'm gonna make sure that her neck is stretched out nicely. And then once she has the tie, I'm gonna go ahead and close her mouth so that she can't cough out that tube. on, connect her, and Miss Adair is going to listen for any breathing as I close the pop-off valve and give her a breath. Good. Oh, you want to turn your eyes on? Yeah. You want to give her a breath? Okay. Right. Yeah. Intubated. 